Hi everybody, welcome back to Cocktail Corner. Today we're gonna make a whiskey sour. Uh, however, we're gonna do a little bit of a twist on the whiskey sour. We're gonna make a clarified whiskey sour. Um, you may have heard of clarified drinks. Uh, one in particular is a clarified milk punch. Uh, they make for parties and you make it in a big quantity um, and you use milk to filter your drink and it helps remove some tannins and some other flavors from the drink. Um, it also gives it a milky consistency and that might sound gross but it's actually very good um, we're gonna do it today for one drink which I don't recommend all the time uh, this is a little bit of a time involved process uh, but if you have the time to make a drink and do something else while it's sitting then I recommend this because it actually is a really good drink and it's cool to look at uh, we're gonna start with a dark cloudy mixture and in the end it's going to be clear so stay tuned it's going to be pretty cool so we're going to start with a mixing glass and we're going to make just a whiskey sour minus the egg because a classic whiskey sour calls for an egg and our whiskey that we're going to use is old granddad it is a delicious just bottle and bond whiskey and we're going to go with two ounces of that into our mixing glass. Gonna break it. All right, to that we're going to add three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. And three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. We're just gonna swirl that a little bit. All right, over here in this glass, this will be our final glass that we're gonna actually put the cocktail in. Uh, but to clarify it, we're gonna add an ounce of whole milk. And we're gonna put that just here in the glass. And then this part's important. You want to add your cocktail to the milk. Um, if you do it the other way around, the milk doesn't mix with the cocktail properly and you don't get enough clarification or the milk doesn't curdle all the way. And so you just want to slowly pour the cocktail into the milk. And yes, it looks gross. The looks aren't everything. We're going to give that just a stir. We're going to let that kind of just hang out with us for a minute while we prepare the other thing. We're gonna filter it through just a normal coffee filter. Um, you can use cheesecloth or something like that, but I think the filter is just easiest. And then we're gonna use a funnel, just to keep things clean. So we're gonna put our filter in here. As best we can here, there. And then we're just gonna pour this through. So the idea is to get most of the liquid through here. And the coffee filter is gonna filter out the curds and it's gonna let the whey of the milk through. Um, and so that's gonna give the cocktail a much different mouth feel. Uh, it's gonna be more silky when we drink it. Um, what we wanna do when it's filtering is we're just gonna let this drip for just a second um, for our first filter. After our first filter, which will be just a second here, it looks pretty good actually. Wanna be careful not to disturb this too much. Uh, because the uh, curds are actually what is going to help filter the drink. So once we've let it gone through a little bit, we're going to move this. And we're going to add this back just in case any curds got through. And then we're going to let it just filter. And this process does take a while. It can take 10 to 20 minutes. So. Uh, be patient, you'll be rewarded in the end for it. Um, and we are going to speed things up a little bit because we have the power of movie magic. So uh, when we come back, we'll have a drink. And we're back. All right. As you can see now, we have a nice clear liquid. Um, this did take about 20 minutes, I would say, probably a little less than that. Um, but yeah, nice and clear. A little cloudy, 
but that's all right. We're gonna rinse this out just a little. Since we're gonna go back into this glass here. And then we're just gonna serve this over ice. So we'll get a nice chunk of ice here. And then we're just gonna pour right over. And it's always nice to garnish your drinks. Put a little lemon in there. It's a classic whiskey sour garnish. And there you have it. That's a clarified whiskey sour. That is delicious. Um, something has to be said for the amount of time it takes to actually make the drink, but once it's in your glass, that is absolutely delicious. It is mellow. You get all the flavor from the whiskey, very little of the burn. Um, even using a uh, 100 proof whiskey, it's just delicious. Um, the feel is something just, it's a little hard to describe. It's almost like drinking milk without the flavor. Uh, it's a little crazy. Uh, one thing that you can do with this, if you prefer, you can remove the garnish, and we can turn this into a New York sour simply by adding uh, a float of red wine. And you're gonna see my float skills here. We're gonna use a clean spoon. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, we're also going to cheat a little. And this is just a Pinot Noir we had available. And with that little float of red wine you can see that that is a fancy cocktail. Um, and it's delicious as well. The red wine gives it just a hint of fruity, but a nice tart that goes really well with the lemon. That is a good drink. I highly recommend it. Take care, everybody. Thanks again.